Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we're actually going to be concentrating on one of my best friend's beauty brands. Her name is Leslie, and a couple of years ago, actually, when we first met, <clears throat> it's kind of like a big introduction to us. Is you know, we were our coworkers, and then two, um, like one thing that we really like, I guess, kind of our friendship grew even more after that because we started talking about how she was opening up her own little brand and she was starting with lashes and you know she was already doing some of beauty influencer t type of stuff so um leslie <clears throat> has since then created her lashes and then she went into brushes accessories right and then as well a palette now the palette that we'll be of course reviewing today is hers i've reviewed it maybe once or twice before on my video on my channel but it is called the Bonita palette. Um, I did say she also has done other items, which I actually do have. Now guys, with that said, don't come for me because I don't know how to put on her lashes, but I will show you a pair of them because I do have some. And here is a pair of the lashes. They are called Muñeca. They are super, super extra. This is her own packaging, which I remember she was gonna be repackaging so maybe it might be changing soon um, and then on the back it has her instagram obviously her website which i will put into my bio and then the name of the lash style um, also she has some applicators for your lashes i do have a makeup sponge which is somewhere in one of my drawers but let me also show you guys the palette um here it is and then these are all of the shades that come in it. Obviously there's a really good range of color and you can do a lot with these type of shades and also shimmers at the top. Some nude here, some matte colors, right? And I think we're definitely gonna be able to do something that hopefully, hopefully comes out really cute because I'm not the best at what I do. You know, I'm still learning. So we'll see what I can do. And also, let me show you guys some of the brushes. I did get the whole brush set because obviously that is what you're supposed to do and kind of how it comes with. But this is one of the brushes. Here is, oh, I'm holding it upside down, my bad. Well, here is the branding, of course. They're ergonomic, so they're easy to hold. They're definitely really good quality. Like compared to some of the brushes I've gotten on, like example, even BoxyCharm, these are still some of the brushes that like I will use more than what I've gotten. They are synthetic, I think, pretty sure. It feels really good though, like awesome. And so these are like all of the brushes that she has. Oh, I'm holding one of them upside down. So I think there's like 12 of them. And I mean, you get a good range of what you're gonna be able to do with them. So I'm really excited to be able to show you guys what I hopefully come up with today. Alrighty guys, so I was going to be doing a full face of makeup, but really I wanna focus on the eyeshadow palette more than anything. And obviously like I wanna be doing a kind of a, and I hope a good review of the palette so i'm going to be priming one eye with the um what is this called photo focus eyeshadow primer from wet and wild and it looks like this i don't know if it's necessarily like a shade or like a tone but it kind of is like pretty pretty close to my skin tone if it is not I think it's just to make your eye like a little tacky when it comes to putting the eyeshadow on. And so that's what it's basically doing right now. I just realized that I put the eyeshadow primer on not my best eye to work with, but we're gonna work with what we have, of course. And we're just gonna move on. Now, um, Again, usually I always put a base of a color, like a nude. So we're gonna be using this shade right here, which is called Picante. And we're gonna be doing a cute little base 
on the eyelid just to like put down some color and then from there we're going to be like adding more to it now if at any point guys my dogs bark i'm like so sorry for sure and so this is the eye that i did not apply any primer to and it's still laying down a very good base the brush is picking up a lot and we're just like slowly building the color up right now <clears throat> and i know so i'm in texas and right now texas is going through like the weirdest weather ever i will say um a lot of people that i know and a lot of my family members haven't had light so People have it coming in and out, you know, take a shower here and there. And then with like COVID, so like everything is all scary, you know, you just never know. But I love being able to like help who I can, you know, when you can. It's the best way to put it. So let me now just do the eye with the shadow primer and let's do the same thing and so again i'm just applying that tone here the eyeshadow and building up the color And it's looking really good on both eyes. I mean, with and without primer. So I'm not mad. One thing I have noticed though, guys, about this primer is like it somehow always like gives me a headache. <laughs> so I definitely think I need to switch to something else. Because I should not be getting a headache from a product, you know what I mean? Uh, oh. And so, there is the base. They look very even. Obviously, I feel like maybe the eye that I have a little bit more primer on because, hello, you know, that's what it's supposed to be. It is sticking and... The shade looks a little bit like you can see it a little darker on this eye obviously because like there was already something under or like yeah under to make it stick better but regardless though like it was very very easy to just apply so that's really good now we're gonna be moving on to the next shade and let's see what we move on to next from there, I'm just gonna like brush it out just a tiny bit, just to mix that color right in. And yeah, even like blending it, like it definitely still helped a lot to like what it's doing for the product. I do have this little dry switching cue brush from Sephora, I think it was, or Ulta. It's like my favorite thing, guys, literally. So I think now, you know, I'm, I wasn't even sure how what I was going to do with this look. But let's add a little bit of dimension in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a darker shade. So I think with a darker shade, I'm going to go with the color Chula right here. And so this color is like a brown and we're gonna see what it does to add a little bit of dimension here. Let's see. I'm gonna be placing it right here. And from there, it's just placing the color and I am just dragging it out from that. 
first pat and so you see it like adds a really cool like dark 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 look to it and so now we're gonna try to do it with this side which oh i'm not the best at doing my left so let's try it again I'm just trying to drag it out as much as possible. There. So obviously the eye with the primer does stick a little bit better, which, you know, that's what primer's for, but we're giving you guys a full review of with and without, so, I like it so far, a brown and like, you know, a very kind of like nude color. So I think now I'm gonna just kind of like add another type of shade. So I think we're gonna try now using is maybe this color Deliciosa, which is like an orangey tone and like a light orange. And let's see what happens. it's a very good tone guys like it's buildable so like i just did like one tap maybe two and like wow it shows up really well on my skin right now so i hope it does come off on camera because like you can definitely see it in person for sure for sure and let's do that to this eye. Okay. And a little tiny more. And so, as you can see again, like the one with the primer is this eye. And so like the shades obviously just look a little bit like they stick more. And so this one is a little bit more like sheer, but I actually feel like normal type. Maybe I would be more into the look without primer just cause I mean, I don't wear makeup on a normal basis anyway. And so right now I'm just like buffing it out and kind of like trying to blend those shades together a little bit and so that they didn't look too, too crazy. But it's going really cute. I mean, it's like sticking with what I needed to. Um, everything is like blending out. So cute so far. Let's see, now we did an orange, we already used this tone, we already used this one, we used this one, right, one, two, three. Okay, so we used three. What else should I do to my eye? Hmm. I guess there's no other way to go, but let's use this color, Bebecita. And we're going to add it next to the orange here. So let's do that. And this one is going to be, I think, more of a buildable type of shade. Or well, at least I'm going to make it like buildable. Because, I don't know. Let's see. Yes, so it is definitely like a buildable shade. It's subtly coming out, but that's kind of like what I wanted it to do here. Maybe on the one with the primer, I'll make it come out more. But I'm like not even pressing on my skin. I'm just like, Whatever the brush picked up, I'm just rubbing it out to my eye. 
And so this color is called Bebecita. And same. I like that name. Cute. So let's try it on this eye. And so again, like I'm building it up to what I want it to be. So we're just gonna be going back in. I feel like it's very like vibey and i love it so now again we're just kind of like blend it out a little to make sure that all the colors kind of mix in on my eyelid a little bit there and make it to where they're, they're not too um we can see the line of each color here too much and so there we go so i'm liking this look so far it's a lot better than what i thought i was gonna actually be able to do so what should i do for the bottom eyelash i don't ever 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 guys use eyeliner because again just the worst at applying it but maybe I can try adding some of that yellow this yellow called mamacita I want to see if maybe I can add a little bit to the bottom of my lid And it is definitely like just coming right on. I will say though, I guess maybe like of all the colors, maybe this one's like the softest one in the pan so I can see where like it does have a little bit of kickback but the way that this yellow is applying with no primer and no setting spray like this is a dry brush it's also vehicle amazing And so like that, it's like subtle. I mean, I didn't do my makeup, but you can still see that yellow. So let's do it on the other eye. I find it for me, it's like a little bit easier to start in the middle. And then kind of like work my way to the rest of the eye. And so like there, it's just applying super easily.
<clears throat> like I love the way that the yellow looks like I don't know how easy it is to see I mean right now it's light in Texas so like I'm trying not to turn up my ring light too much because then my eyes are gonna be blinded I'm not gonna be able to see anything but I think so far it's looking really good I like the way that the yellow looks so far and right now we're gonna add maybe some glitter to the tone of my eyes and let's see so the inner corner i think it's a good idea to try like maybe this color here Bea, and we're gonna put it in the inner corner here wow that is amazing So this is another vehicle brush. This is also not a wet brush at all. And that just picks up right away. And so let's do this eye. Looking good. I mean, it's very vibrant. This was like so easy to put on for sure. <clears throat> now, I don't know if the yellow glitter will stick to <laughs> the yellow that I've already applied here. Maybe we can try a tiny bit. Let's see. Look, it sticks a little bit. Yeah, I can definitely see it. And so like, it's just adding a little bit more depth, I would say, to the eyes and the yellow, obviously. So let's just add on this eye here. Again, a vehicle brush without any water or setting spray, it's just dry. And it's like really, really good. So far I'm like in love with this. The way it's going it's coming out i think as well we're gonna just have to put on like some glitter on top of the lid so maybe we're gonna go in with this color amor maybe dulce i think dulce is like a, more of a pink i think that one will look cuter let's try Ooh. yes Wow. I love the way it just sticks to my lid, like really. Wow. Again, guys, this is the specific reason why we should be supporting small business brands. Like, look at that. That is gorgeous.
this applied so easily like i am so shook like astounded it is everything right now and then the way like everything is blending together like I would say that this one is probably like one of my better makeup looks that I've ever done and I am loving it so far. So I think I'm pretty much done with my look. I don't want to get too far into it and then like it's not wearable or it doesn't look good. None of that at all. I obviously want it to still look cute where something maybe you guys can do. Because I'm not a makeup artist at all. Like, I'm literally just following whatever I've seen my friends do or do seen on YouTube. So, you know, don't feel bad if you cannot recreate something that you see on a video. Because I know I can't. But I'm going to review you guys what colors I did use for you today. So I used the color Picante, which was the first color that I put on my eyes. Mamacita was the yellow that I put under. Deliciosa was a color that is blended into the shadow. Chula was also blended in the very middle. Bella is the inner corner of each eye. Hermosa, I added under my eyelids to go with the yellow that I had already applied. And then Dulce is that super amazing glittery tone that you guys see on the top of my lids. I am so in love with the way it came out. Now this is one eye with primer right here. And then this is the eye without primer. And honestly, like if you were to ask me, hey, did you apply your primer to one eye and one did you not? You really cannot tell the difference, which that's to show you how great the product is when you either don't need a primer or you can just apply it like, you know, let me get up and get ready super fast. That is exactly what you should be getting out of your makeup because that's exactly what I would want. But again, guys, this was a cute little review to showcase one of my best friends beauty brand. Uh, this is the Bonita palette by Via Co. You saw the shades of um eyeshadow these are the brushes and as well this is a pair of the lashes called muñeca which i definitely recommend you guys should try out the little eyelash applicator and of course there's other little accessories that she has and i know i have some of them they're just in my drawer sorry that i didn't pull them all out today but a majority showed you guys the more the bigger items the bigger sellers that I think are definitely worth buying and should should get ASAP to support small businesses. Again, guys, hope everybody in Texas is staying warm, safe, and sound. Prayers for everybody and also for all of the people that are in the middle of this pandemic, not only the winter storm. I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their day. Thank you again for taking some time to watching. You guys, stay tuned for more videos, like, subscribe, and please don't forget to comment on maybe something else you would want to see next time. Bye, guys.